right let us come back and do one more question where we are relating ionization enthalpy with electronic configuration now it's almost a similar question i felt this is also important for you also i picked up this question why is ionization one enthalpy of manganese and chromium now there is a comparison between these two uh, okay in that ionization one enthalpy mn has greater ionization enthalpy than chromium it seems and ie2 for chromium is greater than manganese i have to prove that okay let us see so first let us write for ie <coughs> one now so when i speak about ie1 first basically the i'm going to uh, take out that electron and first write the uh, configuration so mn what is mn it is uh, 3d5 and it is 4s2 okay now let us write for uh, chromium chromium again is 3d5 and 4s1 so this said the first uh, this will why is this more uh, higher if ie1 is higher because this configuration when i compare this configuration this is half filled right this is half filled here also this is half filled but there is one unpaid electron here this is paid so which is more stable compared to both this is fully or completely stable fully stable and hence <coughs> ie1 would be higher because when it is completely stable it is very difficult for me to pull out that electron so when i have to speak about ie2 ie2 when you're going to take out now this is done you have to go now you're going to take out one electron from where from here because this is the outermost electron so this becomes mn plus one and this becomes cr plus one then when it becomes mn plus one cr plus one this is 3d5 4s1 now this becomes 3d5 4s0 so now which is more stable compared to this here you have an unpaid electron so easy for me to take out the electron but here this is half filled and highly stable so here you're going to write half filled highly stable hence ie2 is greater that's it you're going to write that reason after taking that electron right so simple let us start with this why does mn2 okay show maximum paramagnetic character among the bivalent ions of the first transition series so where are we we're going to study now they're asking a question about mn now they said they've already given me the uh, oxidation state that is mn plus 2 so let us take that write that mn plus 2 and give the reason now in mn plus 2 so mn when i write <coughs> the configuration is 3d5 and 4s2 so 3d5 and 4s2 what do they ask me it is it's showing mn plus 2 they said so from where should i remove the electron this is mn and mn plus 2 this becomes 3d5 4s0 so no yes now when i see the configuration it is basically 1 2 3 4 5 one. fill all the five electrons 1 2 3 4 5 so now come back to the question why does mn show maximum paramagnetic behavior now what is paramagnetic behavior when they have unpaired electrons then we call paramagnetic behavior but even if you have one paired electron we call it as diamagnetic behavior so when i see the all are unpaired electrons so this is paramagnetic in nature right let me compare with others now when you see this whole series right mn only has after losing the electrons it has only uh, it is only by a uh, bivalent atom which has paramagnetic see you removing two here this becomes full completely paramagnetic see the others this is paired 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 everywhere it is paired but if i see manganese only is paramagnetic because of half filled uh, or half filled or uh, d5 configuration yes